the so-called Star Chamber, the legal team assembled by the Eurosceptic European Research Group, is poring over the 1,256-page post-Brexit trade deal agreed by the UK and the EU, Sir Bill Cash has said. Meanwhile, France's President Emmanuel Macron has been dealt another blow by the publication of a new report suggesting the UK's economy will outstrip that of France after it breaks free from the European Union. Tory MP Sir Bill said, it has been delivered to members of the Star Chamber team and we are going through it. It got delivered by courier today from number 10. Sovereignty is the key issue. The ECJ, European Court of Justice, is part of that. Mr. Macron is already under fire domestically after the unveiling of the trade deal between the UK and the EU over perceptions that the agreement discriminates against French fishermen, despite the French president's pledges to the contrary. The report, by the Centre for Economics and Business Research, CEBR, suggested the British economy will receive a huge boost from the incoming coronavirus vaccine, with savings made during the pandemic likely to be ploughed back into the economy. As a result, output, jobs and household income are all likely to bounce back. In terms of economic performance, the UK is already one of the better performers in Europe, regardless of Brexit, the CEBR report says. By 2035, the economy is forecast to be 23% larger than that France, its neighbour and economic rival. Douglas McWilliams, deputy chairman of the CEBR, said, people often forget that the UK's largest economic sector is digital and creative. We have a huge competitive advantage in this tech-based sector which the pandemic has kicked forward. Most of this is pretty Brexit-proof provided the UK continues to attract talented people. He added, we think that when the vaccine rolls out, the world economy could bounce back quickly. My colleagues have calculated about £200 billion of savings in the UK as a result of the pandemic that is waiting to be spent. There will be similar build-ups of savings elsewhere. We are more worried that a rapid bounce back will lead to inflation, with shortages pushing up prices.